Hello, this is Matthew Campagna from the TurningGate.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Mono Slideshow Gallery using Mono Slideshow 2, TTG Stage 2.0, and my new Mono Slideshow tool, TTG Mono Slideshow 2 XMLer. That's a mouthful, and there's a little bit of a manual process that goes into getting this gallery to work, but uh, I think you'll find the end result will be worth your time and effort. We're going to begin in TTG Stage 2.0. The images I have picked out for this gallery are an 11 by 14 aspect ratio and they're all vertical orientation. And so I've created a vertical slideshow. All you have to do in Stage is configure the gallery to look the way you want and then come down here to Gallery Type, select Mono Slideshow 2.x and Export. And I'm just going to call that Stage. The next step is to go into our engines list and locate TTG Mono Slideshow 2 XMLer. There's not much of a preview for this, but what it does is give you instructions on how to use it. Um, so you would normally read through here, and then down at the bottom, it actually gives you a preview of the images it's going to export. To get this set up, you just need to look into site info. I'm going to create a single album and come down to output settings and set up your image files. Uh, mine are 500 pixels tall. Thumbnails are fine. Uh, you can use this um, to create a multiple album array of images, but it will only export one album at a time. Uh, the XML formats for single albums versus multiple albums are a little bit different and you would have to merge those files manually. That's another topic for another tutorial perhaps. Um, but for the time being, we're going to leave this at a single album. So with this all set up, once again, we export, and we're going to call this folder Mono Slideshow. We're going to save that. Now what this tool does is create an image array and the image files for Mono Slideshow to use, but it does not tell Mono Slideshow what to look like. To get that information, we're actually going to go to the Mono Slideshow website. And here we have the interactive demo of Mono Slideshow, uh, which you can access by pressing the demo button in the menu. On this page, you can actually configure Mono Slideshow uh, to behave and to look the way you want it to. You've got a lot of options down here. These are all collapsible. Um, you've got a couple of tabs. Uh, you can bring up different types of controls. And you've also got several presets here that you can choose from. So what you would normally do is make some changes, hit the refresh button to preview your changes live in this gallery. Um, you can also go ahead and select a preset. So I'm just going to select Simple Shatter. As you can see, it loads uh, my new settings. And then I'm going to press the Get XML button, and it lets me save this XML file. With that done, I can close this down. Um, you can also see I'm finished with my exports from Lightroom, so I'm going to hide that. And what I end up with in the end is four things. Uh, you've got the Mono Slideshow Swift file that you provide yourselves. Then we have the folder that we created using TTG Stage, uh, the folder that we created using TTG Mono Slideshow 2 XMLer, and we have this Mono Slideshow.xml file that we've just downloaded from the website. Um, what we're going to do first is take the Swift file and put it inside the Mono Slideshow folder. Then we're going to move the Mono Slideshow folder inside the Stage folder. I'm going to open that up so that I can get it this file, Mono Slideshow.xml. Now this file has the same name as this one on my desktop, Mono Slideshow.xml, but they're different. The one that I created from Lightroom has my image array while the one I got from the website has my configuration array, which tells the gallery what to look like. So I need to bring these two files together into a single file that my gallery can use. To do that, I'm going to open my image array in a text editor. I'm also going to open my configuration array in a text editor. Now if we look at these files, uh, I'm looking at the image array. Here it is. 
you'll see these two tags, configuration and then close configuration, and they're empty. There's nothing between them. If we go to our configuration array, we locate the same tags. Here's the beginning configuration. Then we have all the stuff in between, and there's the ending configuration tag. I want to copy all of this and paste it here to replace these empty configuration tags. So now I've got my configuration array and my image array in a single file. I'm going to save that, close both of these, and I can now go ahead and delete this uh, configuration array that's on my desktop because I have that information in my XML file in my gallery. And we're ready to go. So we launch the index.html file. And there's our mono slideshow to gallery. I hope you find this tutorial helpful.